Oh, we got into a car and now we're going through a big tunnel into the mountain. It's very exciting. Well, it's a little bit, a little bit interesting. We're now in the mob, okay? It looks very exciting. Quite big. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> so they're just they're just delivering everybody here. And then once they've delivered everyone, I think at that point. So I just look, I just look at the ceiling and I think oh, well, I hope it's strong. Kalachera. Someone's like put some graffiti in there. Interesting. Yeah, this is where all the gorgeous marble comes from. Yeah, we've got to be a bit careful because it's so slippery. It's amazing. All the beauty that comes from this material. Maybe that's little bits of marble that just... Is it funny that when it's got cre... Hmm? Oh my god! We completely missed that one. Guess what that is? The creation. Yeah. That's Michelangelo's Mag Sistine Chapel. Yeah. Oh, very nice. The birth of marble. Imagine, you should say, imagine seeing God's creation in a marble cave instead of <laughs> the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> exactly. We didn't get to see the Sistine Chapel, but it's here. <laughs> wow. And there's a faint dripping noise in the background. Drip, drip, drip. Uh, and we've got to wait for our guide. So, good morning. Good morning. So, I usually start here telling something about the tunnel. We pass through the coming side here. This is some history about this place. So that tunnel was built in the second half of 19th century for a train called Marmifera. And that was the train we had for the transportation of the blocks. But that train was employed only until the 60s. The quarry instead came, where we are now, came instead in 1963. Before that, before 1963 here, we had nothing but the tunnel crossing the mountain and only uh, open sky forests. Uh, we are right in the middle of the mountain. From here until the entrance where we came from, we have 600 meters. From here until the exit, that way we have as well 600 meters. From here until the top of the mountain, we have 400 meters. And deep down below us, until sea level, 400 meters. And everything you see around here is marble, so we are completely surrounded by marble. White marble though, not gray, not yellow, not black, so it looks like this just because marble absorbs naturally a lot of water from outside and because everything's dirty. So that's it. So the gray color is due to water and the yellow, maybe black color also are due to grass and or so fumes of the car, the trucks as well, we have to the wick, so come in and come in. We do have gray marble in Carrara, also, but that's only on the other side of the mountain. So in Carrara we have white and gray marble too. And as you have probably seen, we have over there painting, which is a tribute to Michelangelo, because this is the very mountain where he came to select the blocks for La Pieta and Mosaic. So that's the reason we had this painting here done a couple years ago by Odzmo, an artist from Pisa. So he came here and so ended that painting, as I said, as a tribute to Nikita. Okay? 
Is there any glare right now? Yeah, right now? Yes? Okay. Now, let's turn here this way. I'll show you so this part of the party, which is okay, so the active part where it's still working. And I'll explain to you the process we have to kind of fly. p.m. So five days a week, more or less eight hours per day. And of course, they're not working today because okay, so they have now okay, so a couple of days of holidays. Okay, so they'll be back in January. And here we have then okay, so the two uh, machines they use to cut a block. So I'll explain to you right now okay, so the process we have to do it. The first machine they employ is the big chainsaw you see down there in the corner. Can you see it? It's all standing vertical like this. So that's a German machine called Korfman, and that saw you see is three meters long. It has a fluted edge made of vidya, which is a mix of metals and they saw <coughs> diamonds. And with that saw, then they cut first the bottom of the block. Okay, so the saw, okay, so standing right now, okay, so like this vertically. <laughs> so they turn it down, and then they cut the bottom of the block. Once they have the bottom cut, they go on the upper part of the block, the so-called terraza, okay, so that's how we call it. And from the terrace, okay, so uh, from the top of the block, we do vertical holes, okay, so we drill vertically down until the bottom, where we have already cut with that. And inside that hole, we put this, the dymo wire, see? You may approach and touch it if you want to. See, a little, little things you see shining are diamonds. Diamond? Not the same mm. color as diamonds are. Yes. Okay. So, mm. these are synthetic, but even if you're not talking about real diamonds, every single ring costs 5 euros. So, 5 mm. euros each ring. Mm. Then we disconnect this cable, this will make fast inside a hole, we catch it from beneath, take it out, then reconnect two parts, and once we have it reconnected, we have that machine. Okay, so we put a little light down there in yellow. Once we put it in here, it's the incubator and the chainsaw. So as you can see, the machine has a pulley system in order to make that wire turn. We put that machine on a track so we can easily pull it back. And as we pull that back, we keep this cable always in tension, so it goes on cutting all the way through vertically, like this, okay, so always with water, never without it, so we need water to wash away dust we have there as we go on cutting, and also to cool down the wire, because it turns at a speed of even 150 kilometers per hour, which is really, really, really fast, and at that speed, we can cut even five centimeters per minute, something like this, between okay, so six and ten square meters per hour, which is okay, so a lot. Today we have the museum across the road uh, closed, okay, so, but over there, for example, we have the hand saw the quarry workers used to work with until like 50, 60 years ago. With that, two quarry workers that back all day long, they were able to cut only seven, maybe eight centimeters per day. And they used to work 12, maybe 14 hours per day. Oh Nowadays, they just press a button and it cuts five centimeters per minute. So, Good Lord. It. Okay. And how old are you? <laughs> 10. That would be perfect, okay, so because it took 50, 60 years ago, okay, so kids like you, so at the age of 10, they will, okay, so they'll be already working in the quarry. Oh Are you interested on me? <laughs> 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 they can talk to the boss. <laughs> you can try, maybe a year, two years, no? <laughs> 50, 60 years ago they were doing child labor. So you need to deal, okay, so you need to talk to the boss about that. <laughs> 
Not interested? No, <laughs> no not interested. <laughs> Don't blame bothered. me. <laughs> Okay, so, but I'm not kidding, okay, so that's right. Okay, so at the age of 10, it's okay, until so 50 years ago, so the kids, okay, so that, that was the age, okay, so the kids actually started working. Okay, so, okay, so everything clear about the cutting process? Yes? Okay, so then we have this thing here. Okay, so once we have the block cut, we still need, okay, so to separate it from the mountainside, because where we have the cable passing, so it leaves like one centimeter, so that's not enough. For the excavator then to grab and move it. The block is cut, but we can do nothing about it. Okay, so we put this thing here, the, this thing flat, okay, so which is called pillow, because we put it between the mountain side of the block, we pressurize water inside it, and then by expanding it becomes like this. Finally, like a real pillow. Mm, pillow. Yeah. 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 This is a metal pillow, of course. So we call it so because it looks like a pillow. This is made of iron, so ordinary iron. And we use it just okay, so once. We cannot use it, okay, so we cannot reuse it. Mm. We can recycle material though, but it's not possible just to make that flat again. No, how much? Okay, so we pressurize water inside it, as I said, at 50 bar. So works away the block and leaves finally 20, 30 centimeters, so room enough for the excavator to we'll grab and then move it. Then we have the excavator, so the, the bulldozer, okay, so to pick it up the block, the trucks come in here, okay, so we load them, get out, that's it. Easy piece. Okay? Questions? No? Okay. So, if you have no questions here, let's move on that way. I'll show you also the size, okay, so block. This is a tiny one, okay, so I'll show you the ordinary size. Okay, so for a truck? No, no, no. I, I, I would like to, but no. <laughs> it's extraordinary, isn't it? But 14 hours a day they used to work with saws, just sawing and sawing and sawing. And the children, 60 years ago, children had to work. Incredible! It's quite scary, really. Not a very nice life, I should imagine. Amazing. C cavernous. Down there, I showed you the active part of the quarry, so where they, they are still working. This part instead, where we are now, is the part where we are not working anymore for safety reasons. Because the engineers and the geologists that we have here said we should stop, so we did it and we did not work here anymore. Of course, we make sure to leave pillars to hold up the place. So this, you see back here on my lap, is a pillar. That as well is a pillar. So that's to keep there the full 100 meters of marble we have above our heads. And from this room, which we nowadays call Pedro, because it looks like a big Pedro, we had about 40,000 tons a month. 40,000 tons of marble were extracted from this very room where we are now. Gosh. And we call it the place the theater because it has a good acoustic as you can hear. We have okay, so tables made of marble too. It means that we can have this place for shows, concerts, dinner parties. It can be done. So we usually have mm. things like that. And it's been a couple of years that we do some wine. As you can see, oh. this temperature here is always between 14 and 18 degrees in winter and summer. It doesn't change always like that. So, perfect condition for wine, and there it is. Oh. That's a particular kind of wine made exclusively for the quarry. It's supposed to be like champagne because we use the same method, but it's made here in Carrara, so it's like Carrara's champagne. 
And if you're interested on a bottle, 300 euros. Oh, 300 wow. euros, because... A couple bottles each. <laughs> 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 Down here, I'll show you a bottle. 300 euros, gosh, what's got in it? Gold. Encrusted. So 300 euros per bottle, 30 euros per picture. Oh dear. I'm kidding. Yeah, well, pictures you want. If you have made a picture, it's 50 euros. Someone writes on that. <laughs> Okay. And as a gift, okay, so you pay 300, but you have as a gift a demo wire bracelet, see? Mm -hmm. And this one is new, see the one I showed you down there? Was used. This one is new, see? It's pretty sparkly. Okay. And as you can see, we had some marble butter on it, okay, so just for design. But did you know that we can even eat marble? How many years ago? Uh, two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that we can eat marble? Oh, I didn't know that. That's because white Carrara marble is almost 100% calcium. Ah, oh, it's quite healthy. So we can have that added. Okay, so for uh, food paste, creams, and even some kind of foods like yogurt, cheese, pasta. Do you like yogurt? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you eat marble. <laughs> Sometimes when you have a lot of yogurt, you okay, so feel a bit heavy. Maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of marble. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding, that's true. But of course, okay, so we're talking about 0.001% okay, so every like, 10 kilos of this. Mm -hmm. okay, so, really, so it's almost nothing. But still, that's true. Okay. And if you're not interested on a bottle of wine, okay, so you came to a party, if you're interested on a block, see the, the block, the one in the middle here, that's a 30 tons block, okay? And that's the ordinary size, okay, so a block, okay, so for a truck, that's the maximum capacity for a truck. That block, considering the quality of marble we have in here, in this party, so that costs, on average, <laughs> 15,000 euros. Okay. So the quality of marble we have here in this quarry costs 500 euros per ton. 500 okay. euros, gosh. Then we have qualities of marble here in Carrara that cost even 10,000 euros per ton. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah. yeah, so for quality, we need to take into consideration first of all color. So usually the wider it is, the more expensive it gets. Glass veins, glass imperfections, the more expensive it gets too. So the best quality we have here in Carrara is the so-called statuario. So that okay, so that's a uh, so that's a quality of marble that has the background completely white. Okay, so we have just some veins, but the veins that we have look like painted like made by hand. Okay, so we have no imperfections, not at all. Okay, so it's pure white with just okay, so maybe one single vein, okay, so across the block, okay, so all the way through. It's, it looks like paint, okay, so that's then a quality of even 10,000 euros, okay? Mm. So what do you prefer, a bottle of wine, a block, both? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you come here, can you buy a bottle? No. <laughs> It absorbs naturally a lot of water from outside, so that's it. We should drive then this lot out and then wait a couple sunny days in order to have the water inside <laughs> evaporated. And then okay, so we will see the original color, which is then wine. Okay, so although this is not the best quality, as I said, it's ordinary quality, 
but even though okay, so you can see here that the background okay, so is not so uh, not so wide, not so great. We have here okay, so right here that this is an imperfection and this is a vein, okay, so what we call a vein. Okay, so these are different minerals we have inside of rock. Okay, so that's it. This instead okay, so this is a part of the block where it's going to to break eventually. Okay, so that's uh -huh. what we consider an yeah, imperfection. It's a fracture. Yeah, fracture. See? So the statuario, the best quality we told you about. So that has the background completely wide. We have maybe okay, so one single vent like this, but crossing all 